A&E departments across Britain all have tales to tell of unusual accidents that have screeched up to their doors. One of the most bizarre of recent years involved a circus dwarf, Dan Blackner, who had a sticky moment with his wee man. When the circus came to Edinburgh Town in August 2007, it was business as usual in this unusual big top. <laughs> I'm from the Circus Honours. My name's Captain Dan, Demon Dan on the stage. Captain Dan is sort of uh, multi-talented, we could say. Out of all different types of acts on stage. Like all circus performers, Dan's a skilled professional. That means he can do stunts that you know you mustn't copy at home. And would you really want to? They eat light bulbs. Opens a, uh, a beer bottle with his eye sockets. And I put fireworks up my arse and light them. That's the kind of behaviour you'd rightly expect to land someone in A&E. But Dan's medical emergency wasn't directly caused by any of those daring tricks. A legendary part of his act is um, attaching the hoover to his willy and dragging it around the stage. One night, just before he was due on stage, his key prop took a bit of a bashing. Somebody stood on the end of my hoover and it cracked the suction bit. With a broken nozzle, Dan's hoover wouldn't stay in place for his act. He needed to fix it, and quickly. So I mended the crack with a super glue. Dan squirted on a whole tube of the stuff. He was already due on stage, but was confident that super glue sets within seconds. Switched the hoover on, connected it to my dick. And Captain Dan was performing his act as normal. And I don't know me at, come off stage, switch the over off. I thought, hang on a minute. And instead of coming off, he wouldn't come off. He was stuck. I went and told Dr. Hayes. Dr. Hayes? Yes, Dan. I've super glued my whistle. Hey, have you done that, you lunatic? I put super glue on it. On your dick? No, on the Uber. And he said, I read the label, and he said it'll be dry in 20 seconds. So we looked at the label, and it actually said it'll be dry in 20 minutes. And then we put him in, in my car straight after the show, decided to take him to A&E. Just keep it together there, Captain Dan. But when I got to the hospital, I started getting really embarrassed about it. <laughs> Dr Hayes went in first and informed the A&E receptionist about Dan's predicament. She said, OK, do you want to bring him in then? And I said, uh, well, I can, but the A&E's full and he's got a hoover stuck to the end of his dick. Next minute, two nurses come out with a wheelchair. And she said straight to Captain Dan, what have you been doing then? I put me a blanket over me with my hoover connected. You could tell they were trying to laugh, but trying to be professional, they didn't want to laugh. A female colleague uh, came over to the desk to tell me that there was a case that probably I should be dealing with rather than her. Uh, the patient was in a cubicle uh, and when I went in I saw Danny, uh, Captain Dan the Demon Dwarf, protruding from his trousers there was a six foot, roughly a six foot length of corrugated rubber tubing uh, and he explained to me that that was glued to his penis. The main problem as far as I could see was in fact that the glue had fastened itself to uh, the hair. Oh, very painful, painful, because all the glue was stuck to me pubes and everything. We take soap and water and we gently wash, and we just work on it until the glue frees itself. It's like having a very slow waxing. So once I was able to gently free the hair, uh, I was able just to put a gloved finger into the tube and just tease the skin away from the plastic tubing. Every time I look at my penis, all I can think about is this male nurse with his hands all over me. <laughs> <laughs> Within an hour, the faultlessly professional medical staff of Edinburgh Royal Infirmary had freed Dan's manhood and saved his livelihood. My penis is a very important part of my act. I don't know what I'd do without it. Captain Dan made a full recovery, and you'll be happy to know he's still with the circus and his hoover.